Welcome to the sixth episode of The Masthead with Marie Claire. And in this episode and the next episode, we'll be doing a style smackdown between France and America. Who is the chicest of them all? And in today's episode, we'll be talking to our beauty director, Dee Dee Gluck, who'll be interviewing French women about what they do beauty-wise to give them that je ne sais quoi. We'll also be talking to our new style director, Cleo Glide, who's a former couture model, and she weighs in on the current debate, are models too thin, are they too fat, should we be using models at all? She has her own stories from modelling days, and she's written a piece for us called Glamorexia. And we'll have our fashion must-have. But before we get on to that, let's go on to our beauty smackdown. Beauty Smackdown between the French and American is such a great fun idea that we have really rolled with because of course there's that love-hate relationship between America and France. We wanted to conjure up from right down to the makeup artist and the hairstylist how the French and the uh, quintessential American woman is. The French woman makes the effort to look effortless. French is more about a, a strong lip, a black liner, and maybe that's it. Opposed to the American woman who really likes to put the effort into absolutely everything. Everything is more monochromatically beautiful and not just one thing that's coming out. Ultimately, the way I see it, this is really, um, you know, the hair is a, is a major part of this shoot because I really sort of, I, I sort of see the hair as being a big difference, I think, with the French and the American style. There is definitely a signature style that you can see in women, and I definitely think that the French women, there's a, a laid-back sophistication. Um, and with women in America, there's a, a tangible sexiness. Americans will spend an hour in the morning, like, fixing their hair. That will never happen that in France, ever. They will work more on the color. For us, what was the real poster girl for America versus the poster girl for um, France, which is completely exemplified by actresses, is the moody, complicated brunette as opposed to the sexy, sassy blonde. I mean, because with these products, these Sun Silk uh, Color Boost products that we were talking about in the studio, Sun Silk Blonde Bombshell is what they actually call the blonde one, because for us, blondes have more fun and blonde equals sex. And they didn't go, they didn't play the sexy card. It's beyond brunette. So that for us is kind of perfectly expresses the way we think of French women versus American women. This has sort of been an obsession of mine ever since forever when I discovered that French women kind of exist on a different plane when it comes to beauty. It's a very personal story, but of course Marie Claire having such a strong French heritage, being a French magazine, it was a topic that seemed perfect. When you look at French women versus American women, what you notice immediately is that they seem to do absolutely nothing and look gorgeous. I think French women, like, like if you think in the morning, how long do you take? I think all my American friends take much longer to get ready in the morning than I do. Much ink has been spilled on how the French just enjoy life more and how their foods are less processed and how they don't sweat it out at the gym but they walk every place. How important water is in their regimen. They're constantly detoxing themselves. And you really believe that you can oh, yeah. detox? Oh yes, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm the do. proof, you know, definitely. I do detox. I do. Yeah. And I'm on drug detoxing, detoxifying after that. We're really just do. so much more accustomed in America, as you know, since you both live here now, from thinking about thinking about the quick fix instant and the quick win, instant gratification we're very much from the outside in rather than hit you over the head with a whole tip to toe look they prefer a little bit of flavor just right? like a little bit of red wine with the meal what is this thing with red red nails red lips it's love it's love it's passion it's sex you yeah. know it's, it's, it's and you know it's a tie-in with the lingerie yeah and <laughs> goes together it goes together <laughs> I actually started modeling by twist of fate. I was in Paris on a study trip for one year into my law arts degree. And because of my height, I'm six foot one, I've got a six foot ten dad. What made me sort of goofy and cultish and very, very sort of awkward at school became this sort of Valkyrian trump card in the world of fashion. What would be so brilliant for us is if you can take us into that world, given that you lived it. Um, back when you were on the runway. Maybe what I could do is talk about show week and the pressure and how what might seem like insanity from the outside in 
becomes not only normal but incredibly exciting mm -hmm. and a kind of a bit of a drug and pick me, pick me. Yeah, you know, she's told me uh, a lot of wild stories. I mean, starting with you know the grape diet that she was on uh, to you know get prepared for a show that was coming up at the end of the week, and she you know passed out. I, I worked with girls; they could eat you know a, a key lime pie and a couple of burgers every day, and they wouldn't put on a gram. That's just their metabolism. And then the rest of us. We had to huff and puff like crazy to get down there. Attempting to achieve that, if that's not what nature had in mind for you, can have you know dire consequences. It's going to be a great story. I think it's really, you know, it'll be really perfect for right now. Well, there's a lot of concern globally these days about women becoming anorexic in order to be fashionable or to be models. I think that what we always want to come back to is the celebration of self. What we want to do at Marie Claire is celebrate, um, ce celebrate everybody's differences. We love high fashion. But we also um, are, are very concerned about, you know, the well-being of women. Brunettes, let's lock and load. Sunso Color Boost refuels your color with a fresh dose of brunette right in the shower. Blondes, guess you'll have to wear even shorter skirts now. Boost your color and get therapy. New Sunso Color Boost. One of the best things about doing this podcast is we can show you things that didn't quite make the magazine, often for reasons no other than we simply didn't have enough pages. And this is a great pair of skinny pants we all loved from The Gap. And we're doing a piece in our April issue about jeans and the best way to wear denim, what kind of denim suits your figure. And these are just a great flattering pair for almost all body types, actually. They're very skinny, as you can see. And the price is skinny, too. They're only $68. And we're matching them with this fab top from H&M, which is clued into the futuristic trend, which can be difficult to wear. But this is actually very wearable in a lovely sort of black, silky material and it's only $50, so particularly wearable. We liked both of them. So that's it for this episode. Tune in next episode to find out what's going on in our fashion smackdown. Who is the chicest of them all, the French or the Americans? And you can tell us what you think on marieclaire.podshow.com. So keep those comments and opinions coming. We love hearing from you. And until the next episode, talk to you then. Blondes, this is our weapon. New Sun Silk Color Boost recharges your blonde right in the shower with a fresh shot of color. Sorry, brunettes. At least your moms think you're pretty. Boost your color and get therapy. New Sun Silk Color Boost.